Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back. In this video, my sister and I will be making DIY custom candles. So let's get right into it. Wow, where do we start? Let's get the instruction manual first. So here it comes with its little instruction manual. Here, let's go over what is inside of this package. So first, we have the candle tins, one with a clear top and one without. Then we have some waxed wicks. This is the part where you set the candle on fire, obviously. Some soy wax chips, two wooden sticks, measuring cup, some fragrance droppers, liquid dye, some labels, some stickers to wrap around the tin cans, a gel pen, and last but not least, a recipe card. So the first step to make our candle is to get our tin cans and we will get the waxed wick and we will get a glue gun and put some glue on the end right here and place it in the middle. We will just demonstrate. The next step is to get our wax chips and we will get half of it and fill it in the bowl. So our next step is to get our wax chips and pour half of it into a microwave proof bowl and we will put that in the microwave for 3 to 5 minutes. Okay, so we just microwaved it for thir 3 minutes and 30 seconds and is not, it is now a bit uh, liquidy so we're gonna have to work fast. What we will do is we'll get our bowl and pour it up to 30 milliliters. <laughs> what? Okay, so we made a little mess because it rolled down the bowl, but now we'll just pick our color and fragrance and we'll just pour it into the wax. I'll just pour three of this and I will get rose and, and I'll just mix it. And now we just pour this into our tin can. We fi just finished filling our tin cans with candle wax. Just a quick heads up make sure you use a tray or something before you pour in the wax or do any of this because i don't know if you can see but we made a big mess and the wax spilled all over so that's just a quick heads up uh, but now all we gotta do is wait for half an hour and it should be dried by then inshallah okay so we're back we let our candle wax sit for 30 minutes and here's what it looks like for 30 after 30 minutes it's all dried up and nice the blue one is mine and obviously this is my sister's the pink one and now we get to decorate our can so let's first start off by cutting the wick about an inch i'm just gonna do it up to the lid here you go after we finish cutting our wick we will pick a sticker that we want to wrap around the can so pick yours first And I'll take this one. And there, nice and neat. And now we can also decorate the lids. So since I have a clear top lid, I will choose a clear name thing, if you want to call it. And my sister, since she has a, the non-clear one, she'll pick a nice black and gold one. Okay, now I'll just write my name on it. You probably can't see it, but my name is on there. Okay, you can see it. I don't know why I made it so small, but it works. There, now it's part of the lid, yay. Okay, and here's the one my sister drew. It's pretty nice, really nice handwriting. And now we will light it up, but first let's clean up. Let's light our candles. You burn yourself? And that was it for this video. This project was really fun. fun. It smells really nice too. And it looks great. Uh, even though we did make a little mess, it still turned out well and very well. And that's it for this video. Catch you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In case you were wondering how we cleaned the table, here is a life hack. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family.